Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this module, we will explain the what, when, where, how, and why of inspecting roller surfaces. I know your time is precious, so let's get started. An uneven surface can mean that you have an uneven process, an uneven product, or an uneven machine. Granted, an uneven surface may or may not be a problem. Granted, the cause of the uneven surface may or may not be a problem. But what if it were? This simple technique that works on idlers and process rollers alike may alert you to a problem that you might not be otherwise aware of. Or, it might help verify a problem that you suspected from other evidence. But the main utility is that it averages long-term trends that may not be easy to see from the snapshot data that is commonly available from touch labs and scanners. In other words, it shows us shape or profile. Shape is one of the most useful pieces of information for the industrial problem solver, those wishing further information can review the modules on baggy webs and critical thinking. Of course, simply knowing that you have an uneven roller surface does not tell you why this is happening. You need to know more details about the application to get the whys. Still, this technique is simple. All we need to do is pay closer attention to surfaces. The simplest way to detect an uneven surface is visually. The roller may have a different color or gloss in one area than another. Sometimes these differences are nearly invisible but might be picked up by running your fingers across the roller. If the problem is wear, we can measure this with any number of tools. The most sensitive would be a profilometer that measures RMS roughness, but this simple tool is not common in most plants. Instead, you could measure diameter profile across the width and presume that the profile was accurately ground to begin with. This is usually a good assumption as most new rubber covers are consistent to a hair's breadth and most metal rollers are to one half to one tenth of a hair's breadth. Diameter is best measured by a micrometer but also can be done well with a pie tape provided that the mechanic is experienced in its use. Least accurate is to measure the depth of the grooving with a depth gate as this tends to be not as accurately cut. In this figure we see that any or all of the methods would indicate the same answer. The middle is worn more than the ends. To go further we need to know more details. Here we will just offer one and that the surface is tungsten carbide coated. Thus, it would be probably safe to conclude that the application has some combination of abrasive materials, high speeds, high duty cycles, and or long time in service. However, what is more important for any situation is not that the surface is worn, but that it is worn unevenly. In particular, the middle worn more than the edges means that the system has a frown shape. It is possible that the frown shape factor may also be responsible for other behavior that may be of greater interest than mere roller wear. To go further, we must know even more details. Stay tuned for the next module. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. If you have any questions or ideas for future topics, just drop me a line.